There's two things that resonate with me when it comes to the strengths of MUA. One is anatomy labs. Many medical schools these days don't have anatomy lab. It gave me the ability to actually see the anatomy, is to see the human body. Secondly, clinical rotations. My surgical clinical rotation I, I found was excellent. It gave me the ability to assist on operations, not simply view them from the corner of the room. My experience at uh, MUA doing elective clinical rotations was I did a wide range of electives. I knew at that point I wanted to do general surgery, so I set up several general surgery electives, and that was my opportunity to meet the people I'm currently doing my residency at the University of Toronto in general surgery. I'm currently a senior resident. It's exciting, it's stressful, it's very demanding. So the hours can be quite long. The gratification is definitely there. You get to see the results right away. Part of being a general surgery resident is to teach junior residents as well as medical students. And in fact, I was nominated for award here at University of Toronto for teaching medical students. General surgery is competitive, but uh, I didn't view it that way. I viewed it as I wanted to choose what I wanted to do. Uh, despite it being competitive, they still have spots available. Those spots are available to everybody. So it's about somebody deciding they want to do it. The one thing that MUA does really well in the curriculum is a systems-based approach. That approach, I think, is key for being able to recall the information in a meaningful clinical way. MUA gave me my medical education, so it gave me the foundation which I built my residency on. So I was a critical point of learning. Students considering MUA should uh, First decide, do you want to be a physician? And if you want to be a physician, I think MUA is an excellent choice.